Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and in this video I'm going to show you how to import customers into your account. So a background on this is um, the reason why you'd want to do it is if you're coming from uh, another software where you already have all of your customers stored, this will make it easier for you to move that information over to Launch27. Um, basically that's it. So you want to start by going to the customers page here and here you can see I have no customers in my account yet and if you want to import them you just click on import now um, I want to show you uh, a few things before we actually import a file into the system and the first thing I want to show you is that the the file that you need to import into launch 27 needs to be in CSV format that stands for comma separated uh, values it's just a it's just a standard way to export and import spreadsheets. And we give you a sample version of what our system expects here. If you click on this, and I'm gonna open that up and show you what it looks like now. Okay, so here's my sample file. You can see that it's um, pretty basic. It has first name, last name, email, address, city, state, zip, phone, Stripe ID, which is, uh, Stripe is our credit card processor. If you have already been using Stripe in your old system and all of your customers already have Stripe IDs, you can just import that over so that you don't have to ask your customers to re-enter their credit card information into Launch 27. And um, the last one is a notes field where pretty much if you have any notes, you can just stick them in here and we'll import them over to Launch 27. So that's about it. And I'll show you how to import this file right now okay to import the file just click on choose file here's mine now because our uh the file had like a header a header row which had the first name last name and all that i'm going to click on ignore first row because if you don't click that it's going to think that that first row is a real customer and then it's going to start giving you a bunch of errors saying that oh the email address isn't a real email address and all that so just make sure you click that if your um if your file has a header row so i'll click that and click on import and you can see now that all of my customers are imported um, that was pretty easy but usually in real life it's not going to be that quick and easy um, the reason is because your old system probably has a lot more information when you export it, or it may be in the different order than our system expects. So now I wanna show you how you can go ahead and um, clean up one of your, your, your spreadsheets so that it can be imported into Launch 27 successfully. Okay, so now I'm back on the spreadsheet I'm trying to fix. So I'll just create a new sheet here, paste that in, and then I'll start copying, pasting stuff over. So I need the first name, just, copy that and I'll paste that over like that now now launch 27 is going to expect address city state zip phone stripe ID and notes and I don't have that information in here so I'm basically going to have to make that information up if I don't have it same thing goes with if, if you're some of these records don't have first names or last names or in some cases like this one like if you didn't have let's say i didn't have an email address i would actually need to make one up and you, you can put anything here and you're, you're just gonna have to go ahead and, and enter in all the missing information so I can just, if, just for demo purposes to make it quick, I'll just do this. All right, so a lot of people know how to use spreadsheets. I won't do the entire thing. So what I'm gonna have to do next to save some time is I'll go ahead and fill out all this information and then import it over in the next step okay so i copied and pasted a bunch of information from one of my old spreadsheets and uh 
One thing you want to make sure you do, like I know in Google Sheets, it's going to add a lot of extra columns here and a lot of rows at the bottom. So what you want to do, you're going to actually make sure that you have to make sure you remove these extra columns. Just delete columns like that so that it's exact. Um, I've seen a lot of people make mistakes where it ends up bringing in a bunch of empty columns and um, the import process is not going to like that. So the other thing is just uh, actually, I think it's OK to leave the rows like that. It's going to know that those are empty. So just go ahead and export this now. Download as CSV. And now I'm going to show you how to import that into Launch 27. Here I am back on the customers page. Just click on import and go find the file that you downloaded, the one that you fixed up. There's this one. And my sheet had a header row, so make sure you ignore. Then click on import. And now you see that a lot more records got imported. So uh, one last thing I want to let you know is if you have like thousands of records, that's going to take a lot of time to import. What we'll do is we'll show a message on the screen that says, hey, we'll let you know when you're um, when all of your customers are finished importing and we'll send you an email when it's done. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's it. If you ever need help, because this can be sometimes uh, can be a little tricky if your old system has a lot of a lot of missing data or a, a lot of stuff that you may not understand, you can always contact support at launch27.com for help. Um, and if you ever have any kind of questions, you can feel free to contact support. Thanks.